Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and today we're going to be talking about skincare products. My holy grail skincare products, because I'm not going to lie. I've recently felt like my skin is the best it has ever been. Okay, I went from every time I looked at my face in the mirror thinking I need to get Botox, I need to get this, I need to get that. And I, I feel really good about my skin right now. It is looking really good. I have had way fewer breakouts and just skin irritation and stuff. And I just want to show you the products that I've been using. Okay, so to preface this, I am 35 and I have dry skin. And I live in Colorado, so it's dry here on top of my already dry skin. I've always had dry skin, but it's really dry here. So the dry skin is an issue. So I'm going to share with you some products that I absolutely love that I cannot live without that I have repurchased over and over again, or some of these are a little bit newer and I will be repurchasing for sure because I love the way my skin looks and feels after using it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna say Bioderma. I absolutely love this for removing my eye makeup. Now, you can use the cotton, you can use cotton rounds that you use in just trash. You can use a Q-tip to get really close with this. You can use the reusable eye makeup remover pads that you can get, which I really need to get some of those because I hate using cotton rounds and throwing them in the garbage. It's just so wasteful because I definitely would re just, it's, it's got to be so much better to just rewash them and keep using them. So if you have any that you recommend, please, by all means, leave them in the comments down below so I can get some. But whatever you use, I always start off taking off my makeup with Bioderma. This does not irritate my skin. It is so nice. They have one for sensitive skin, I think, but I just get this one. It is amazing. It removes all of my eye makeup. It removes my eyelash glue. It does it really easily, and I don't feel like I'm really pulling and tugging and jerking on my eyes to get the makeup off. Mascara, gone, everything good to go. So love this. This is amazing. Since I started using it, I just, I keep repurchasing it, keep repurchasing it. You can get this at Target. You can get this at Walgreens. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you can grab it at Ulta. I've never bought it at Ulta. I normally just grab a bottle and what is this? Oh, I can see in the viewfinder this collar part popping up and I was like, what is that? I normally just grab an extra bottle when I'm walking through Target and throw it in the cart and it's good to go. It is a little bit pricier, but I feel like it is well worth it. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry. It leaves it feeling moisturized. I will take off my eye makeup. I also use it to take off my lip. And then I use it to take off, you know, like the first layer of makeup. But this is not to clean your skin. This is a pre it's like a pre-step. This is to get the makeup off before we cleanse. And then I'm going to go into a cleanser. I really, really like the Dime Gentle Jelly Cleanser. I also have a Native Cleanser. A lot of times when I'm in the shower, I will use the Native Cleanser. I'll just put a little on my hands and I will just like just pre-cleanse with my hands. Okay, then I will use the Dime Jelly Cleanser with some form of brush, a cleansing brush. You can use silicone. I have a silicone one. I just prefer this one. I got this one at Target a couple of months ago and I've really been loving it. It doesn't actually spin. It kind of like vibrates and I just do like a circular motion all over my face to cleanse my face. It has three different settings. Hold on. Do you hear all those? I like the lowest setting. It's really, really nice. It kind of like massages and cleanses, but it's not too much. It doesn't make my skin hurt afterwards because sometimes these brushes can be really, really harsh on your skin. This one is pretty soft. 
You can also remove this whole thing so you can sanitize really easy and you can sanitize all of it. This has a plug-in charger, which is amazing. You don't have to worry with batteries. I just put it on the charger when I get done using it and it's good to go. Love this. This has been a quick favorite and honestly I bought it because my other one from Vanity Planet broke. I was in Target. I saw it. I was like, you know what? It's the only option I have right now get it and I love it I'm so glad I got it I think it was like 40 bucks not too bad everything that I, I talk about today will be linked down below for you guys if you want to pick anything up this jelly cleanser is really really nice it is a little bit more pricier so or a little bit more pricey so if you don't want to spend the money on this I do suggest the native cleanser it is clean doesn't have a lot of crap in it dimes also clean natives just a little bit cheaper than this so also I think you get way more product in the native cleanser I would bring it in here but my bottle my pump broke it looks like a hot mess I'm not going to show it but I will link a native cleanser down below for you guys native is a great brand very natural love it um I used to not be picky about what I put on my face whatever was trendy and cool I would use it as a skincare product product probably while my face was garbage uh all right so next up if i use a toner i don't always tone if i wore makeup i will use a toner just to make sure that everything is gone but i like the ordinary's toner it's really really nice it's glycolic acid seven seven percent it's a toning solution it has a ph of 3.6 um, it's just really, really nice. I like The Ordinary. I like their products. I'm a fan of theirs. You may not be, but I just really enjoy this toner. It's a nice large bottle. You don't have to use a ton. The main areas I really like to make sure I hit are the crevices of my nostrils, in between my eyes, the brows, like the chin, anywhere where makeup just really likes to sink in. I just like to make sure those areas are extra clean, if you know what I mean. Also, toners are great. If you get done working out and you don't have time to do a whole skincare routine, you put a little bit of this on a cotton round and you, you know, clean your face off, get the sweat off your face. That is so helpful. So if you're someone that works out and you get really sweaty and you have breakouts, try making sure you cleanse your skin some way. Okay. Um, one thing you will not see in here is a makeup wipe. I don't really use makeup wipes. I just don't love them, so I don't use them. So don't be expecting me to be suggesting any of that. All right, what do we want to get into next? Two serums that I think I will use until the day I am deceased are going to be the TBT serum and the hyaluronic acid serum from Dime. I love the hyaluronic acid serum. This one from Dime specifically is the best I have found. The consistency is spot on. It soaks into the skin. It is the perfect mixture of thick and not thick. I don't know how to describe it. It is amazing. I love this product. I will, as soon as it is getting low, I repurchase. It is, I need to do the subscription where it just shows up because that would save me some money. You can do the subscription. I'm pretty sure with Diamond, it just keeps like recurring and sending to you. But the hyaluronic acid from Dime is hands down the best hyaluronic acid I have tried. It's just amazing. I love it. Leaves my skin so thick and plump and juicy. Not thick, but you know what I mean, like juicy. Looking youthful. Okay, also the TBT serum. This is amazing. Who doesn't want to turn back time? Okay, or have a little throwback Thursday, but I'm pretty sure it stands for turn back time, not throwback Thursday, but this is really, really good. It is awesome. I absolutely love this serum. Again, perfect texture. You don't have to use a ton of either of these, so these do last a good, a good long time. I'd say about a month for me, but I do use these like morning and night. I... I am one of those people that uses way more than you should. So if you just use a little dab, you probably stretch it out a little bit longer, but your girl is like, I like to slather it on. Another thing that I absolutely love that goes with the TBT serum is the TBT cream. This is amazing. If you 
Do not want to use a retinol. This is a clean retinol alternative. <laughs> this is a clean retinol alternative. So it gives you the benefits that retinol gives you, but it's not as harsh because sometimes if you don't know how to use a retinol, you can do more harm than good, okay? Don't just be getting stuff because it's, you know, people are saying you should use this. You gotta know what you're doing and how to use it and what to use it for and when to use it and all that stuff. So be very careful with skincare, okay? Don't just take my word for it. Don't take anybody's word for it, like, at your own risk. But this is a clean retinol alternative. This one lasts me a while. The This cream is really, really thick. A little goes a long way. It feels really nice. It doesn't leave you feeling sticky though. It does eventually soak in. It just takes a little bit longer. I mean, it is a cream. I love it so much. I have a backup. This is how their packaging comes, like this cute little black and like cardboard moment. Love that. But I do have a backup for you, uh, for myself. I'll show you. I mean, it's, it's the same. It's the same. I haven't even pulled the thing off. Uh, you can get a set. I'm uh, pretty sure they have a set all the time with the TVT serum and the cream together. If you want to save a little coin, uh, you know, it's a little bit pricier. But if you're serious about your skincare, it is what it is. So there's that. Okay. One, oh, before I get to what I was just about to talk about, this. The Ordinary's 100% plant-derived squalene. Squalene, however you pronounce it. We all know if you've been here for a while, you know I don't know how to say that word and I butcher it every single time. But I can't live without this, okay? Especially during the winter. I have to have this. This is amazing. It soaks into my skin. It makes my skin feel so amazing. And yes, I use all these together. I'm trying to pickle my face, okay? But this is really good. This is also super affordable. You can grab this at Ulta. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love. Also, I like the packaging. I just, I like packaging like this. I either like over the top gaudy packaging or the most minimal streamlined packaging you can get. I'm either one or the other. <laughs> uh, let's see, two masks that I really, really enjoy. One is the Murad Pore Extractor Pomegranate Mask. This one is like a clay type mask. You can see it's well loved. It has a nice like clean scent. Nothing overpowering, but you know, it does have a little bit of a scent. I don't think anything that would irritate you. It has like really finely milled like scrubbies in it. You apply it, it's not going to completely dry down like hard so that's nice you let it sit and then you like work it in like give yourself a little exfoliation helps clean out your pores this is really really nice i really like this and another mask i absolutely love and continue to repurchase over and over again is the ordinaries it's the aha and bha peeling solution it's the crazy red mask that was so viral for a while it's that guy um, so many people say that it burns their skin, it hurts their skin. If you have any open, broken places on your skin, if you have any cuts, if you have any blemishes, if you have places where you picked, anywhere like that, or extremely dry, scaly skin, don't put this on it, okay? You need good, clean skin that is not damaged in any way, and this should not hurt, okay? It can feel a little tingly, but it's not a painful tingle. So if you put this on and it hurts, take it off. Take it off. This does leave my face just a little red for a little bit. So if you're going to use this, I suggest using it before bed. I like to put this on. I leave it on for about eight minutes. I do not rinse by splashing water. I take a little cloth. I get it damp with warm water, and then I rub this off because you do not want to get it in your eyeballs it's going to hurt i rub it off and then after it's all rubbed off then i make sure i splash my water my water my face with water to get it completely rinsed off but just don't i personally would not go in and just start splashing because it may get in your eye that's gonna hurt i don't suggest you do that just throwing that out there uh 
Another product I really, really like, I don't use as much as I did, but I do still really like it, is the Liliana Naturals Eye Cream. It's an anti-aging moisturizer. I've talked about this before. I saw somebody talking about it on Instagram. There was a before and after where the woman always applied it with her right hand to under her eyes, and then she rubbed the excess on her left hand, and her left hand looked so much younger and more youthful than her right hand, and that sold me instantly. It is really, really nice. I like to use it underneath my eyes, between my brows, and just like around my eyes in general, and then on my smile lines. That is where I like to use it. You don't need a ton. This mixed with other products, there are certain products that I cannot use this with because it burns. They don't react well together. So just be very careful. I got this off of Amazon. It is an amazing product. It, there's a lot in here. This will last you a while and it is a little pump. So very hygienic. You don't have to worry about reaching your, your hand inside of a jar. All right, this is a newer product that I've added to the lineup, but I really, really like it, so I'm going to talk about it. It is the Truly brand, not the not the hard seltzer, the beauty brand, Truly Beauty Vegan Collagen Serum. It's an anti-aging face serum that's supposed to tighten, make your skin more youthful looking and more plump. I really like this. The scent is really nice and light. Very, very nice. It's almost got like a, a citrusy smell. It goes on very nicely. It soaks into the skin very nicely. I really like this. You get a good amount of product. It isn't super cheap, but it is really nice and it is vegan. It's clean, made in the USA, cruelty free, all that good stuff. All things that we love. We are almost done, guys. All right. In the event, I do have a pesky little zit. I swear by the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch. These are amazing. They also have larger patches. So if you have acne and you have a large patch of, of pimples, you can get the longer patches. They're about this long and about an inch, or inch to an inch and a half wide. And you can use them for larger areas. It's the same idea though. You put it over in overnight it sucks out all of the impurity and all the grossness this helps fight a zit so so easily it says to use for like whiteheads and that is true it will zap a whitehead so quickly but if you have a zit that does not like it's kind of just there and it's painful and it's red I have put these on just a painful zit before and it did help dramatically shrink it and kind of cut down the time period of you know a zit going through its phases to get the heck off my face I swear by these I have bought so many of these patches you can get smaller boxes but I buy the biggest box there's 24 patches in here these blend in with my skin really really nicely I put them on I wear them if I have a zit that won't go away, I will wear that zit patch for as long as I want. And one thing that is really cool is, throw in the box, I have had one of these on my forehead before. And I worked out and forgot it was there because, like I said, you don't notice them. They're not uncomfortable. They're just there. I They really blend in with my skin tone. I can't speak for other skin tones. But I forgot it was there. And after I got off the, the treadmill, I went in the bathroom and I was like, oh, I peeled it off and you could see where the zip patch had sucked all of the impurities from me sweating out of each pore while I was working out. It was gross and cool all at the same time. All right, last product I'm going to talk about that I have recently added to my skincare routine, but will be staying, she will be staying in the routine, is Dermaclara Patches. In here, I have the forehead patch, I have the under eye patches, and the smile line patches. They are amazing. I have a video talking about these. At first, I seriously thought it was a gimmick. I did not think it was going to work. But this has helped minimize my wrinkles, especially in between my eyes, so, so much. These patches are amazing. They're easy to use. They're reusable for many uses. I think it says up to 30 uses, but I... I've heard people say that they've gotten more than 30 uses out of these if you take care of them and you clean them properly and all of that. They really are amazing and I have really noticed a difference. 
definitely not a gimmick to me. I really enjoy them and I've been using these at night. I just like to do a little like wash my face, lay down, watch a TV show while these are on. I like to do them with my whitening strips and then take them both off, apply my skincare and go to bed. You're good to go. Every time I take these off and notice how flat and smooth my skin looks, I'm just amazed all over again. They are amazing. I'm assuming this is something that the more you use, the more it will help flatten out your wrinkles. As of right now, I've used these a handful of times and I'm already noticing like minimized wrinkles on my forehead. So these are part of the skincare routine now. Like she is one of us. That is it guys. Those are my Holy Grail skincare products. I do have other products that I do use, but they are products that I, you know, I use because I have and I want to get rid of them and I not I don't want to be wasteful or products that I've used in the past that were okay but not great enough for me to repurchase. But recently in the like past couple of months my skin has been so awesome and I just wanted to share these products in case anybody was interested. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything will be linked down below for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.